Greetings students, how are you? I hope you are in the pink of health. So today for our English club gathering, we are going to be taking a look at poem, okay? More specifically, we are going to be taking a look at two types of poem. The first one is Sinkane and the second one is Diamante. So by the end of our gathering today, you guys are going to be able to write one poem um, either Sinkane or Diamante. But before that, let us take a look at what poem actually means. So poem is actually an arrangement of words, written or spoken, sometimes rhyme, used to express our experiences, ideas, or emotions in an imaginative and creative style. Okay, so basically, poem is all about expressing ourselves, our emotions, in a uh, in an interesting way as possible. So, there are two types of poem that we are going to be taking a look. And then, okay, so the first one is Diamante, and then the second one is Sinkane. Okay, so remember, guys, these two type of poem. You are going to choose either one of these. Okay, so we are, the first um, poem is going to be Diamante. So, what is Diamante? So, Diamante is an unrhymed seven line poem. Okay, so remember it is unrhymed and it consists of seven line. Okay, seven so the beginning and ending lines are the shortest while the lines in the middle are longer giving diamante poems a diamond shape so when you have finished writing this poem your poem is going to have a shape like this so it resembles the shape of a diamond hence the name diamante so diamante is an Italian word so it means diamond okay so the format diamantes are seven lines long okay the first and last line have just one word the second and sixth line have two words okay the third and fifth lines have three words and the fourth line has four words okay so line one four and seven have nouns so we are Okay, uh, we are being specific now like uh, for the first line 4 and 7 we write noun okay the words consist of noun okay line second and six have adjectives meanwhile line three and five have verbs okay you must be confused or you are still unclear about the format never mind I'm going to show you several example on how we can actually use the format to write diamante so here are the example of diamante okay first we take a look at the format we have noun followed by adjective verb noun verb and lastly uh, followed by adjective and last but not least we have the noun okay so how do we apply this format to write diamante okay so I'm going to show you the example of diamante okay Okay, so we have a diamante about monsters. Okay, so again, monsters is the noun. This is a noun. Okay, evil, spooky. This is the adjective that describe the noun monster. So when you say about monster, when when we talk about monster, usually the adjective that kind that come in mind is going to be evil, spooky. Okay. And followed by verb what do you think a, uh, a monster usually does so for me I think monster usually they howl shriek and wail so again for the verb we use the progressive form whereby we put the ing at the back okay and then the fourth line we have the noun for the for the, the the noun that actually the category for monsters okay 
so again this word ghosts vampires goblins which is these are the category of monsters so it is also a noun so when we talk about monster we have ghosts vampires goblins which is all of these things falls under the category of monsters okay and then on the fifth line we have another verb for monster so flying scaring terrifying and then on the fifth on the sixth line we have adjective again for the word a um, monster okay we have creepy crawly so and lastly we have another noun so this noun actually means the same thing with the first word in our diamante monsters so another word for monsters is going to be creatures so again so this is the synonym for monster i hope it is clear so this diamante actually is a good practice for you to to enrich your vocabulary so by writing diamante you actually will be required to look for words that are associated with the topic of your poem the topic of your diamante so when we are talking about monsters again you have all these words comes to your mind when you are writing about monsters we have evil spooky howling shrieking wailing ghosts and all of this so meaning to say diamante is a good approach for you to actually add your vocabulary okay next we have sin cane so again sin cane is a five line unrhymed poem so different with um, diamante sin cane consists of five line only meanwhile um, diamante consists of seven okay diamante consists of seven lines so first line we have one word a noun so this word is going to be the subject of your poem the second line we have two words so it is consists of adjectives that describe the subject okay the subject of your poem again it follows uh, a similar pattern with diamante whereby the second line always um, describe about your subject about the first uh, word in the first line okay okay uh, we move on to the third line we have three words the ing again it's follow the same pattern with diamante we use the ing words meaning to say it is the progressive form of the verb so action verbs participle that relate to the subject in line one again it is all about um describing your the subject of your poem line four consists of four words a phrase or a sentence that relates the feelings about the subject in line one again in in the fourth line you need to write a phrase or sentence that relates or it can also um, describe about your subject and lastly for the fifth line we have one word so this word is going to be a synonym what is a synonym guys a synonym means the word that have the same meaning okay the synonym for the subject in line one or a word that sums it up okay so these are the format for our for sinking when we want to write sinking poem okay now i am sure that some of you are still unclear about this sinking how to write okay never mind so we shall take a look at the example so here are some example again the first word always is going to be noun okay second word is going to be adjective it is the third word is going to be verb okay third line and then the fourth line is going to be a sentence or a phrase sentence or f 
trees. Lastly, on the last um, line, we are going to have our synonym. Okay, so we have two examples here. So the first one is about poetry. So the noun that I've chosen is poetry. It is also the subject of my Sinkane poem. So poetry, and then the second line followed by adjective that describe the word poetry. It is clever. I think poetry is clever because those who are able to write um, uh, who are able to produce poetry or literary works they are considered as a very clever individual so it's crafty you you need to craft your poetry your poem and all your literary works and then the third line writing composing describing it is all about the verb in its progressive form the ing and then the fourth line we have the sentence best words best order and lastly the synonym for poetry is verse okay so poetry can also mean verse or it can also uh, means to it can also be referred to as a word that sums it up that actually gives a summary about what poetry is so poetry is all about verse it is all about writing okay so when we write we have several verse in poetry so that is that is what it means by verse next we also have another example 